at this point, it's either a dog or a baby, and we're not ready for a baby. Hey, hey. Hello, you guys. I'm getting ready for, I literally just got done working out, but this could possibly be I don't even want to say it because I don't believe it. This could possibly be the first ever puppy vlog for the Garcia family. So long story short, what time is it? Cause I gotta go. Yes. Um, long story short, I was at work today doing my thing. Sebastian sends me a message that's like, call me, but look at your email and then give me a call. And I was like, what the heck? So I just called him. I didn't even look at my email. I'm too lazy. And I was like, what? It was a listing for a sweet litter of puppies. And Sebastian was like, should we go look at them today? And I literally lost my mind. I was like, yes, 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 yes. Normally, in the past, I feel like people have described me as not an animal person, but that's just because I haven't found the right animal for me. I just, I don't love all, like I love all dogs, but I'm not like, I don't know. I knew that like I needed to be in like, a good place in my life to get a dog, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not just gonna go pick up a dog on a corner because I love it so much, if that makes sense. Um, but then, Sebastian quickly changed his mind. It was like, no, we're not, maybe this isn't right. Maybe we're just being too emotional about it. Yada, 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 you know him. Sebastian's very logical. I am very like, ah, in the moment. And so we thought about it a little bit. We talked with Sebastian's sister who loves dogs, which was maybe not a good idea for his case because she, of course, was like, yes, get the dog. It's a lot of work, but you guys will figure it out. It's so fun. We've been talking about it for a really long time. And at this point, it's either a dog or a baby, and we're not ready for a baby. So it's like, let's take the next next step for a little puppy. I'm so excited. If we, I'm almost like looking around my house like, I can't imagine. We did babysit Cooper, or dog sit Cooper, um, last summer, which was really fun, but he wasn't like our dog, and he wasn't too sure of Sebastian. So I think it'll be fun to like, I don't know, raise a little puppy together. I could die. We'll see. We're just gonna, we like reached out to the guy and we're, we're like, can we come see the puppies and just see? So who knows? And honestly, yeah, who knows? Who knows if anyone will ever see this footage, but I thought it might be really fun. So come along with me. I literally just got done working out. So I'm in sweats. I haven't even had time to shower, but it's kind of been a crazy day. So we are going to get in the car and potentially get a puppy. <laughs> oh my god. Is it giving, let me look at your face. Are you giving dad vibes? Look at those newspapers in the back. <laughs> you act as if it's gonna ah, shit all over the place. Yes. Come on, don't be boring. I'm not being boring, being the most fun dad. Come on. Oh, look at him. Look at him. What if he's ugly though? What if I don't feel it? I mean, if we don't feel it, then give it a day or two. If we don't feel it, then we don't get him. Fine. Yeah, right? We have to feel it. Of course. I'm gonna call my mom. No, let's, let's just drive there. Don't involve no one else. <laughs> no, babe, I wanna see what she says. But your mom hates dogs. She's literally gonna say, do not get that. I know, but she's gonna be okay with me getting it. She, I just no, wanna ask course. her how we get past my grandma. Dude, you just do it. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. I literally want a dog so bad. So. We just got off the phone with our friends Allie and Michael. They have the cutest doodle. I don't know what type of doodle it is, but his name's Winston. He's so cute, and he fell in love with Winston the first time I we ever Winston. met him. So I feel like it's their doing that. I'm just afraid that this dog won't love me as much as he, as he loves you. No, of course he I will. I want him to cuddle me. He will. That's a silly thing to even worry about. I'm afraid. No, don't worry about that. No, I'm just kidding. I just feel like Cooper. Oh, he I told, hated me. I told you guys he is stuck on Cooper. He it's hated okay. me. Yeah, but Cooper wasn't your dog. He didn't know you. Mm. This dog is gonna know you. Anyway, they told us it's gonna change our life for the better. <laughs> so, and they gave us a. They're so cute. They gave us a price breakdown of like everything. They recommended a vet to us. I'm gonna go to the same groomer. Oh, I'm I know so Allie's excited. watching. What's up, Allie? What's up, Allie? We love you so much. In two seconds, we're gonna have a puppy in my lap. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, just 
You were born on 1827. <laughs> this is your home, puppy. Your old home. Oh God. Oh God. I'm nervous. The outside of the house will tell a lot about the yeah, puppy. Yeah, it was actually a nice neighborhood. Super nice. I think it was grown Catholic, which is good. <laughs> grown Catholic? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> we have no money right now. Yes, and we're gonna we get do. a freaking dog. We have money. You're being ridiculous. You just didn't, you weren't able to make a spreadsheet beforehand, so now you're stressed. Yeah, kinda. Actually, yeah. A protective dad already. <laughs> Last photo, just me and you. Are you sure? Yes. You kiss? Huh? This is ours. Philip, let me see you. <laughs> we got the chunker one. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, look at our boy! Are you Set kidding me? Set him up on the dash. You guys, this is the chillest one out of the freaking litter, they said. I can't believe we got him. Wait, we can't see him. And he head. has a creeping tan. Creeping tan, which so he's he said kinda, was special. And he's kind of balding right now. But yeah, so he said he'll look like an ugly dunkling for like a few weeks, but he's so cute. Hi, Hi buddy. buddy. You want to go here with dad? Uh, Special. I'm Come crying. Here. Look at his sweet little face. Oh, and he is a chunk. Oh, you and you guys. Me, <laughs> Baby. Oh, oh my, my god. What are we gonna name yeah. him? He doesn't have a name. His name's Philip. <laughs> I, I was like, uh, I'm not calling him Philip. Pickle maybe. I love pickle boy. Pickle. pickle? No, I don't, like it? I don't. I don't like it either. I'm not feeling it. Okay, I need to drive, my Hi, dude. Hi, Get back to your mama. Hi, Negro. Negro. Dude, dude what's his name? name? <laughs> Negro, um, Chico, Dexter, I Chico, thought, Chico is like Choco, no. Um, dude, he's so. Cuddly. Well, hold on. Let's think about him. Here, hold this, babe. He's Almost. so cuddly. Let's think about like what does he look like? It looks like creeping tan. Okay, we just took the baby. We don't have a name for him, you guys. Come here. He's still checking out the place. We have it this gated off a little bit. That's kind of perfect, But honestly. we got him a little bed, a little crate. This is his blanket that his mom had that they gave to us. And this is the little bone they gave to us as well. We got him some little treats, a little dog target haul because we didn't know we were getting a dog. We got those. My battery's going to die. But um, what else? A little spray bottle to help train him. And some doggy bowls. And that's it, a little harness for now. Huh, and you're just eating your bone. Good thing I mopped the floors yesterday. Hi, baby. Uh, hopefully by the time this video goes up, we've got a name. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a super good boy. Sebastian, can you even believe what we just did? Oh, <laughs> he's a little chunky in the back. In the back. <laughs> yeah, he's a little fat boy. Hey, hey. Oh, you get him mas. You get him mas. <gasps> Look, he loves his treats. Yeah, he Good. does. Good boy. Hello, you guys. Happy Wednesday. You'll have to ignore that I'm looking a little rough. I haven't even done my skincare yet. I have been just running around. Um, because I'm a dog mom. I can't even, I can't even believe we have a dog. I cannot believe <laughs> that we have a dog. Um, here's a little boy, where's his, oh, that's his um, new favorite spot. So we did a bit of playing. He loves the side of the couch so much. He still doesn't have a name. So that's the biggest thing. First we thought Finn, but then I hate Finn now. Then I think the one that we're like playing with the most is Mowgli, like from the Jungle Book. And I want to call him Mo. Like, I think it's so cute. And he just looks, I know Mowgli is the boy, but he just looks like a bear. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so there's not even really the same, but you know, I just love that name. I think it's fun. But sometimes it's hard to say. And sometimes people are like, wait, what? But I like having a nickname, Mo. Then I thought it would be cute if his name was Lenny. I think Lenny is so cute. Sebastian doesn't like Lenny. Then my mom and Sebastian think, oh, my mom and Sebastian think Jack is cute, but I think Jack is like 
boring. So I'm so stressed. We're trying to train him. We're trying to potty train him. We're trying to do all these things. He doesn't have a name. Like I just keep calling him. I call him Mowgli. Um, okay, I think it's so cute. So anyway, we don't have a name yet. Um, but he has been such a good boy. We're on our second full day. Last night, um, he only woke up twice before we like did the rest of the day and he did so good so we woke him up well i woke up twice um so i woke up with him like early in the morning so that he could get his day started at like 5 30. um but I woke up, to be fair, Sebastian was also awake because he kind of whines when we do the crate training, but I came down here at, let's see, like 12, 15 to take him outside. He didn't do anything, uh, so that was a bit of a fail. And then we put him back in his crate and I cannot even tell you the whining is so hard. He like only will whine for 30 minutes. Like every single time it's 30 minutes, around like 35 minutes, he'll stop. Um, and then be done for the night, which is nice, but that 30 minutes is so hard. He like howls, he whines, he cries, and I just get so nervous. Like we live in a townhouse, so I've just been stressed about like our neighbors. I don't know, I feel bad. Um, and then I woke him up again at like 3.30 and he went pee outside. It's so cute, he's so smart. I'm telling you, he's getting it. He still has some accidents. He doesn't pee inside as much as he poops. So he always poops on the tile. Uh, so we're trying to figure that out. Um, but yeah, then he peed and then I went to bed again and then he woke up um, around like six. Sebastian woke him up, took him out and then I woke up at like 7.30. So we are just living life. I will say me and Sebastian had a moment of panic where we were like, oh, we kind of miss being able to go to bed peacefully and not be woken up and be able to be out all day. Uh, we had like a moment where we were like, what did we just do? <laughs> um, but then you look at his little face and you're like, it's so fun, it's so fun. So that's the update there. Um, I have a busy Wednesday. I've just been doing computer work literally right there. I've been standing up just cause we're keeping him down on the tile. Uh, just so that he gets used to like this space before we take him everywhere else and everywhere else has carpet so uh, I have to be down here a lot and not like working in my office so I just have been doing that which is nice I feel so productive today um, yesterday I felt like I was like running errands all over the place and Sebastian was with him most of the day while I was like working and stuff so it feels nice to be able to like be here now sebastian's in the office so we're kind of switching a little bit um but i'm gonna stay here anyway because i have a doctor's appointment at like 2 45 so i'm getting my iud removed and then put back in i joked with sebastian i was like if you want a kid and a baby now's the time uh but we definitely do not so i'm gonna go do that i love my gynecologist she is amazing she's like a grandma i just love her like every time i go she makes me feel so listened to and i'm always super nervous of like the replacement iud this is now my second time getting it replaced with her and the first time she was like do you want me to give you something because <laughs> you're like stressing me out um but it didn't hurt and she's like really really good so i think if you have a good um doctor that you like trust in that i don't know it just makes the experience a whole lot better i will say afterwards i am gonna like have to plop on the couch or something i'm anticipating a lot of cramping but it should be good i've been putting this off for like three months so we gotta get it done and then that's kind of it i have to go to the grocery store it's like weird i feel like i can't leave my house because of him so i'm like haven't gone to the grocery store haven't done anything but the family has all met him. My mom came over with my little sister last night for dinner and they got to meet him. I was gonna call her on the Monday that we got him, but I knew she was coming over the next day and I really wanted to surprise her. I think it's just really fun. So they had fun meeting him. He was so shy. And then after they left, he was like crazy with energy, like playing with us, fetching his toys. So I was like, what the heck? But it's just been a lot these last two days, but I think he's getting used to us and it's really really fun so there's an update for you guys i think i'm gonna get back to my computer and then i have to freshen up obviously i'm not gonna go to the doctor when i haven't showered um but it's just like wow i don't know what to do i have like five minutes i feel like before he 
kind of like whines and wants to be around us, but we're training that. So one last look at the babes. He's taking a nice power nap. Are you kidding me? Someone tell me what his name is. It's so stressful. I don't know. I really, really don't know. <laughs> okay, come here. You guys, I know this has been a crazy all over. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. A crazy all over the place vlog. I had to wake him up from his nap. So this is most definitely Mowgli. I know I left you guys on a bit of a like, what are we gonna name him? But he's such a Mowgli, like, oh, it's a baby, so tired. Um, we call him Mo, we call him Momo, we call him Mowgli, we call him baby. He has just been an absolute dream. So, I just wanted to, oh, now he's getting over it. Um, I just wanted you to get a good last look at him. You guys will see him so much more in the vlogs, but do you wanna say hey, yo? How cute are you? I love you. Oh, you guys, it's been a dream. So yes, I just wanted you guys to get a good, cute look at him. Oh, he has hiccups. This guy always has hiccups. Oh, I'm telling you, <laughs> he always has hiccups. Go ahead, go run around. Um, So yes, if he's gonna be crazy, he's gonna wanna try and jump on the couch because he loves the couch. But uh, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know that you will be seeing way more of Mowgli within like our life and just the daily vlogs, but it has been a dream. Like he is such a good boy. I think we're on day 12 of no accidents inside. Like what? Are you kidding? Uh, I feel like I feel like he was made for me because I mean there's other things we're working on. He's he's a bit of like a biter on anything. Like literally will bite a piece of metal. He's teething so bad. Um, but now we have all the right toys and things for him. But he's just such a good boy and we have just been loving it so much. So. I've been so excited to share him with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and all giving him all the love. I am gonna go save him now from the blanket, huh? Say bye-bye. Say we love you, bye.